I mean, like, I have seen many, many productions in my life. But this production far surpasses anything I've ever seen in my whole life. Whole life, whole life, whole life, whole life. Hi, my name's Tom, and I'm going to be doing a podcast on the surfing pop-up, following some of the problems I've had with it, and maybe a few ways to improve your own. This is mainly aimed at beginners, or people that have had their first surf lesson and are looking to progress that little bit further. The pop-up in surfing is really important, because if you're not popping up, you might as well be riding one of these. And who wants to do that anyway? Importantly, you need to be looking for a nice big board. This foamy board is ideal. It's about eight foot long, really thick, Plenty of buoyancy, so you're going to get lots of waves on it, and it's really safe just for the soft top. As we're surfing in North Wales and it's still pretty chilly, you're also going to need a few other pieces of kit. Most important are a nice warm winter wetsuit. You're also going to need some boots and some gloves. It's time for me to get changed now, you're probably not going to want to watch that, so I'll see you on the beach. Retro suits just don't work. As an ASI instructor, I know there are several pop-up methods. Some have their benefits and others have their drawbacks. We're going to go into those in more depth now. In this podcast, we are going to be making a few assumptions that you know about board positioning and how to paddle into waves. The first method of pop-up that I'm going to talk about is the one that is taught in a majority of surf schools. It's really good because it gets most people to their feet in their first surf lesson, and that's what it's all about. And it's as follows. It's called the box method. The next pop-up I'm going to show you is called the snap pop-up and it's used by most pro surfers because it's the quickest way to get to your feet dynamically and gets you into the wave really early so you get maximum wave time. Okay, so I've now shown you two pop-up methods. You've got the pro snap-up method and you've got the box method. Both are really good at getting to your feet but very different. The hardest thing for an intermediate surfer or someone progressing with their surfing is taking your, your surfing from the box method to the snap. The transition is really hard because there's five stages into one. The method I'm going to show you now is called the Portuguese or Aussie style and it blends a combination of the boat. It's really good if you're struggling with hitting your knee which is something I found when I was starting to learn to surf and it's a good way of getting over that hurdle and it's as follows. The main benefits of this style are that it's very similar to the pro snap method in that your back foot lands first and then your front foot in between your hands. When sped up in the water this skill becomes the snap method and therefore your surfing develops much quicker and it's better than the box method. As I said before one of the main problems that people have when they're learning to surf is that their back knee hits the board when they're trying to pop up and I think that this comes from learning the box method. The reason I've chosen to teach you the Portuguese or Aussie style today is because it is much more like a pro snap method and that's where you want your surfing to go. Okay, so now we're going into the Portuguese and Aussie pop-up in detail. So you're going to take your position on the board, hands outstretched and paddling, and go into the prone position as you would with any pop-up. The next key step is to bring your back foot up and your knee out to the side. From here, it's one dynamic movement up to a standing position. Paddling hard, high elbows, prone position, knee out, up you go. When you're paddling, you want to keep the board as flat as possible on the water so it planes effectively across the surface. If you're too far forward on the board, you'll find that you simply slide off the front. If you're too far back on the board, you'll find that the wave passes underneath you without you catching it. It 
begin with strong paddle strokes to get you onto the wave. When on the wave, place your hands on the board under your shoulders. Push yourself up into the prone position, then bring your back foot up and your knee out to the side. Finally, spring your front foot forward in between your hands and stay low until you're confident to stand up. So you're up and riding now, and you can just play around with leaning forward to go faster and leaning back to go slower. The rest is up to you, and I hope you enjoy your surfing adventures in the future.